your eye look is on full display. Hey beautiful people, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you how to go from this to this. If you wanna know how I got this Rainbowlicious makeup look, then keep on watching this video. I am starting a brand new series on my channel where I share with you different mask makeup looks that will just make your eyeballs pop while we're in that mask. So the very first step that I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime these eyelids because we're gonna be using a lot of bright colors. And for one, we want this look to stay. And then two, if you put primer on, it'll just make the pigments of the eyeshadow shadow a little bit more brighter and a little bit more booming in your face <laughs> the primer that I'm gonna be using is this little guy look at this I was gonna show you out of my hand. The primer that I use for my eyelids is this little guy, and it is by Profusion Cosmetics, and it is No Budge Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff is... <laughs> Don't hit yourself in the nose like I did. This stuff is amazing whenever you're using glitters or very pigmented shadows. Using a primer on your eyelids will not only make the eyeshadow last longer, but it will make the pigments brighter, or it'll just make them more booming in your face because that's what we want. We want our eyes to say boom. We're masked. There's different opinions about using your hands while doing your makeup. I, I do it. <laughs> If that's not what you're supposed to do, don't take after my ways. You just need a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my bottom waterline. This step always makes you look a little bit crazy, but hey, sometimes you gotta look a little crazy to then look cute. <laughs> I love, love, love this white eyeliner. It is by YBF and it is a water resistant gel eyeliner in the shade Wide Eyed White. If you tight line your bottom waterline, with white gives the illusion that your eyes are a little bit bigger. See, your eyeballs look bigger already. So now it is time for the fun part where we get to dip in and do our Rainbowlicious eye look. To achieve our Rainbowlicious eye look, you're gonna need some rainbow colors. Whatever palette you like to use that has all the colors of the rainbow, pick that. If I'm looking to the side, I have a reference picture. There's the reference picture I am basing this look off of, so creds to whoever that is. That picture inspired the look. Found it on Pinterest, I'm addicted to Pinterest. Instead of using red, I'm gonna use pink instead. I'm not the biggest fan of the color red, but I do love the color pink. Pinkaholic here. I wish this palette had more pinks, but I'm gonna be taking this hot <laughs> out. I'm gonna be taking this hot pink shade right here. So I'm gonna take that pink and just smack dab in the corner. And I'm also kind of blending this into the crease just to get a nice fan effect going. I'm impressed. All right, everyone, what's the next color of the rainbow? orange though we are going to gradually fade into an orange because we're going from pink to orange i'm going to be taking this shade right here i know it kind of looks red but it's not red and that is just going to go right next to the pink this is also a good way to test out your palette to see what shades you like from which palette as you add your next shade make sure you are blending a little bit into the previous shade. So then it looks like it's gradually changing colors. By the way, did I say this is the first time I'm testing this out is on camera? Yep. That's what I do on the Carrie Beth channel. <laughs> anyway, so next shade we're gonna go for is this one. Dipping into that light orange color, just putting it right next to the darker orange. Orange is done. Orange is glad I didn't say banana. <laughs> We're gonna be going in with yellow. This yellow is just going to finish off the eyelid. 
you can go ahead and carry it to the inner corner we are going to be using highlighter for the inner corner but you can go ahead and put the yellow there that way it all flows This is where it's at. If you see one of these at your store, here's what it looks like. Pick one up. It's so much easier than getting a cloth and just scrubbing at it for way too long. So the purple that I'm going to use is this dark purple right here. I want a contrast between the pink and the purple. So we're gonna actually just use the darkest purple shade that there is in the palette. Although using this purple, it doesn't look as dark as you would think. Imagine you had a piece of tape right here. You want the edge just to I'm not the best at explaining beauty terms, <laughs> but for simple people like me, that's, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna quit talking. So with the bottom, you want to just replicate the same amounts that you did on the top. So I'm looking at the window and it looks like it's gonna storm. I don't know if you can see it, but if the background just starts to get darker, I feel like a beauty guru if I blow on my brushes. <laughs> I don't know. I never wanted to ever get stuck in a niche. Niches, sometimes people can take the niche and run with it and they can just be super successful with it. But, I don't like just sticking to one thing. I like to do funny videos. I like to do makeup. I just like to just do stuff with a humor twist to it. So, I really don't know what you classify my channel as. So, ooh, we are matching my shirt. Yes, the shirt was intentional. I just tried to act like it wasn't, but it's very intentional. <laughs> You know those people whenever they're doing their makeup and they're like, Oh my gosh, it matched my shirt. No, you picked your shirt because you know it was going to match and you needed something to say, so you was going to use that as a bit. That's what I did. <laughs> so I'm going to dip into this blue right here. Say you mixed royal blue and purple together. That's what this looks like. The blue did what I wanted it to, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just go for the green. Let's do light green. Man, it is getting dark in here. Time to go to bed. <laughs> Was gonna go outside, but Mother Nature said no. <laughs> I feel like weather is always a conversation in my videos, but I really love the weather. I used to want to be a weather girl whenever I was younger. I had a whole weather kit. Hello, you need the news report? Call me. I will give you a whole demonstration of the weather. It's the most coolest thing in the world. I think weather is still fascinating and I will check the weather radars from time to time. <laughs> so fun, right? I don't know, weather is just cool. Nature is just so cool. This look gives me some Lisa Frank vibes. Please tell me you know about the Lisa Frank line. If you don't know about the Lisa Frank line, I am just getting old. <laughs> the Lisa Frank line is just so colorful. I'm not even joking you. I think the electricity went out. It's at this moment that she knew. Up. Well, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, the electricity couldn't have went out. My ring light would have went out. Blonde moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. Putting this palette aside, now I'm going to be taking this palette, and this is my go-to for highlighters. This is the BH Cosmetics Deluxe Edition Eyeshadow Highlighter Palette by the one and only Carly Bible. And here it is, and it's true broken beauty. <laughs> I'm going to be taking this white shade right here, and I am going to highlight my inner corner. With my highlight though, I'm kind of doing it a little bit lower than I typically would because I want you to still see the yellow from above. Yellow. 
I hear frogs. You know it's storming really bad when it wakes up the frogs. How the road is set up, there's a little dip, and frogs like to chill there. So I say, hey, what up, Mr. Froggy? Mrs. Froggy, what's good? What's poppin' in frog world? <laughs> Debated, do we wanna do an eyeliner moment? Questionable. You know what, let's not do eyeliner. I feel like sometimes eyeliner can take away from the look. I can't even tell you the last time I had on eyeliner. I really can't. My videos are out of order, by the way. I had to do a little bit of switcheroo on the schedule, but it's all good. You're gonna get a video. So whenever I've been wearing my mask, I haven't been wearing eyeliner. I feel like wearing the mask, if you just wear mascara, your eyes just pop even more. The mascara that I'm going to finish off this look with is the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. Here's the difference, one eye not done, one eye done. And then I'm going to put this mascara on my bottom eyelashes too. This mascara also works really good for your bottom eyelashes. It coats them so good, which is another reason why I like thicker mascaras. I feel like a more thicker mascara, it coats your bottom eyelashes better. I used to not think that, but I think that now. You see that? See that? It is impossible for my mascara to not get into my bangs. And then you may be like, well, just get rid of them. <laughs> this forehead says, no, ma'am. <laughs> you cannot get rid of those bangs. Just then. The angels are having a bowling match. I wonder who's winning. Thunder really sounds like somebody's bowling. And I love bowling. I don't know if I've ever said this before on my channel, but I have an obsession with bowling. I think it is so fun. I will beat you in bowling, so. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's awful bold for me to say. And we all know I can't just give up highlighter that easy. I've been using one of my more cheaper highlighters, but you guys, the quality is not cheap at all. This is the most inexpensive highlighter, best thing ever. Got this at Walmart. It is by the In Studio Cosmetics brand, Shade Champagne Glow. Not even kidding. Was 97 cents. That's a deal. That's even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. You see this glow? 97 cents. Crazy. So I forgot a step like I always do. I'm gonna go back in with that white highlighter and I am going to highlight underneath my brow bone, but I'm gonna take one of these eyeshadow brushes. This too will also just make the colors pop more. So I'm gonna take that white shade that we were just using and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my nose, even though the mask covers it, but sometimes I just don't feel myself without my nose highlight. Can anybody relate? No, it's just me. All right, cool. <laughs> Here's my mask. Isn't it cute? It's not the most cutest mask in the world, I know. If anybody knows where to get cute masks, please let me know. Hello. Like, I need to protect myself and others around me, so I'm gonna wear a mask. So, here's my mask. Your eyeballs pop. So you could be walking around, doing your shopping, social distancing. So that is going to complete this look. I think for my first attempt at ever doing anything like this, I think I did pretty good. And it looks even better with the mask on. But you guys, it is so important to wear your mask. You not only need to protect yourself, but you also need to protect families. We all have families that we're gonna be going home to every night. And even if you live on your own, you're still bringing whatever you have with you. So just please make sure that you wear a mask. Not only protect yourself, but protect the ones around you. I beg you, please wear a mask. You know, it is so much easier to breathe through a mask than and it is a breathing machine, so keep that in mind. Make it a fashion statement. You best believe this sucker's gonna get bejeweled. <laughs> it's gonna get bedazzled. That is going to complete this mask makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to, to hit that notification bell so you will not 
miss out whenever I post a new video. Also, follow me on all my other social medias. They will all be linked down below in the description box like they always are. And most importantly, make sure that you are registered to vote. If you need any help with that or have any questions, click the link in my description box. It will get you all set up and ready to go so that November 3rd, you can get out there and vote. Please vote. Your vote counts. Your vote matters. Make sure you go vote. So if you guys want me to recreate any other makeup looks, then comment down below or send me a picture of the look and I will be happy to recreate it. You know, even though it is a really scary unknown time right now we can make the most out of it and we can do some cool eye looks of course you have to be very aware of what's going on but it's good to stay a little bit positive just for your mind and for your soul um yeah things will eventually get better eventually so yeah that is going to wrap up this video thank you so so much for watching this video and until next time always remember to pray slay and conquer the day love you